Hi Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Afirasha bin Ali Today I want to present about our project with my partner Hazi Iskandar bin Mahasan Is the number of graduates by age group and sex in Malaysia from 2016 to 2019 So first I want to talk about the project background In in this modern world, education is very important Okay, according to the Dr. RJ Badway 2016 It is education with value which can make us a good human being Divine human being and can help us achieve the supreme goal of life as well In the world of education, it has no boundary People from different backgrounds, sex and standard have access to education from the data collection made by the research from 2016 until 2019, it showed that the student can be grouped in four variables. First, year of education, age, group of education, and sex. Hence, in this case study, the researchers are going to analyze these four variables to produce a graph of statistics. So, next, I We'll talk about the objective on this project. On this project, first to identify the percentage of student graduates in Malaysia based on group education. Second, to analyze the trend of graduate in Malaysia by year and group of education. Third, to determine number of graduate by year and sex in Malaysia. And lastly, to determine the year produce the lowest number of graduates in Malaysia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Hazi Iskandar bin Mahasan from RT12 Today we want to present about our first project uh, The title given is the number of graduate by age, group and sex in Malaysia from 2016 to 2019 uh, Based on the data set given, we can list uh, 5 variables that we can divide it into two groups uh, which is quantitative and qualitative for the number of education and sex we can put it into the qualitative group and for number of graduates age and years we can put it into quantitative group for the source of data here we provide a link for you so that you can access it and the population sample, we focusing more on number of graduate by year, age, sex and group of education. On the sample size, there are three things that we can consider. First, the range from 2016 until 2019 with different age. Second, the difference group between diploma and degree. And the last one is the number of graduate with different sex and the last one is the method used we use microsoft excel and powerpoint to generate the calculation and the graphical representation of the data so i will explain about the analyzed data before that all the number of graduate are in three decimal place if you can if you can see that have two groups first diploma and degree for diploma the graduate test is 9212 9, next degree we get 9902.5 so next i will explain about the first objective to identify the percentage of student graduates in Malaysia based on group education. You can see that has two groups, diploma and degree. I use the pie chart for this objective. This pie chart represents the data show of the percentage of student graduate in Malaysia based on group education from 2016 to 2019. The total of student graduate in diploma is 9,212,300 while the total of student graduate in degree is 
nine million nine hundred two thousand and five hundred. They have four color in this pie chart. Blue represent for two thousand sixteen. Red represent for two thousand seventeen. Yellow represent for 2018 and green represent for 2019. This diploma spy chart showed that in 2016 is the lowest number of student graduate with just 1% difference with 2018. While in 2019 shows the highest number of student graduate. Next Degree part degree spy chart shows that in 2016 is the lowest number of student graduate with just two percent different with 2018. Same show 2019 is the highest number of student graduate. In conclusion, we can see the improvement in the number of student graduate from 2016 to 2019. For the second objective, we tried to analyze the trend of the number of graduate by years and group of education in Malaysia. For the orange line, it represents the total graduate of degree students and for the blue line, it represents the total graduate of diploma students. And in addition, uh, all these number of graduates are in three decimal points. Based on this line graph, represent how the data change over the time. This graph is used to analyze the trend of graduate in Malaysia based on years and group of education. If we compare the changes between the number of degree and diploma students, we can see the total number of graduate for degree is higher than diploma for degree student we can see that the number of graduate is increased dramatically from years to years until the end of the survey which mean it was the highest number of graduate along the surveys conducted even the total number of diploma student is lower than the degree students but they also in steep upward trajectory trying to reach the highest number of the of graduate from years to years it showed the increasing number from 2016 to 2017 even it was the smallest value compared to others therefore it shows a good trend for both group of education which means they are increased from 2016 until 2019 along the surveys conducted. For the third objective, we try to determine the number of graduates by years and sex in Malaysia. For the yellow bar, we represent total graduate of female students and for the white bar, we represent the total number of graduates by male students. All the number of graduates are in three decimal places. Okay, based on the bar chart, it illustrates the number of graduates for males and female in 2016 until 2019. It can be seen that the number of male is increased in every year. In 2009, in 2016, the male recorded the lower number of graduates which is 2 million and 52,000 and it slowly increased until 2 million 497,300 at the end of 2019. The numbers of female graduate also increased while the number of male increased. Even if it is not a steady increase but they managed to get higher number of higher number of graduate at the end of 2019 which is 2,789,400 okay, Based on this bar chart, we also can conclude that the total number of female graduates is always higher than male graduate 
in every year from 2016 until 2019. This gives some advantages to the male graduates to get the job opportunity after they graduated. Overall, we can conclude that we can see a clear upward trend for both gender, male and female graduates in Malaysia. But the female gen, uh, the gender of female students is more dominant in the total number of graduates, which gives some advantages and disadvantages for both gender. So we move to the next objective to determine the year that produced the now the lowest number of graduate. So for this objective, I use the bar chart. Before that, all of the number graduates in a three decimal place. The bar chart above illustrate the number of student graduate in 2016 to 2019 in Malaysia. It can be seen that the number of graduate is increased every year. In 2016, recorded the lowest number of student graduate which is 4,282,400. For the example, the difference between 2016 to 2017 is 319,400. 19, In conclusion, we can see many students success graduate year by year that it will make Malaysia look more success in education sector. In conclusion, we can say that um, there's a lot of method or ways that we can use to analyze the data set. Every single thing that given such as um, sample size, variable, sample population, Every single thing is plays an important role to make uh, to make analysis. Okay, for the uh, graph, we can see we can tell that it gives a positive sign to Malaysia because uh, either in diploma or degree because uh, the trend is always increasing from years to years. Okay, and. The third one is for the female graduate. We can see that a female graduate can help Malaysia to uh, to get a good ranking in international platform because they can give an important uh, ranking for Malaysia. Finally, I will talk about conclusion. For for my conclusion is. What we can see from the data, number of student graduate for degree is more than number of student graduate for diploma. This is because most students in Malaysia are likely to continue the, their study to the next level. Next, based on the bar chart, number of number of student graduate become increase year by year. Doesn't matter is degree or diploma.